Hello everyone, you are watching Sahab Academy and if you are here to get your topic simplified then believe me you are in right place. So let's start the video and let's get on with it. Welcome back everyone to material costing chapter. Today we are going to understand this base stock method of pricing the issue of materials from your warehouse. Now previously we have seen FIFO, LIFO, simple average, weighted average, yes. Now here we are seeing this another one that's called base stock method. Now you have to understand one thing this base stock method is not an independent method in itself it's actually used in conjunction in together with FIFO or LIFO okay so you must be very clear with FIFO or LIFO and you should be able to solve the problems of FIFO or LIFO if you can do that then believe me this is nothing it's just a different kind of variant of FIFO or LIFO okay so let's understand what happens in base stock method so see here under this method a minimum quantity of stock is always held at a fixed price as a reserve in the stock to meet emergency requirement what will happen here see the question will tell you 100 quantity 500 quantity you have to maintain as a safety stock as a base stock okay minimum quantity you have to maintain you will not touch that quantity it will remain there in your warehouse and you can think like that it will remain in your warehouse as an emergency requirement fine that's what see here base stock don't touch it in normal circumstances it will only be used in emergency requirement right it will always stay in the balance column at a fixed price and it is usually created from first purchase or opening stock so you remember in balance column we used to have different different lots yeah so one lot will be fixed that's what you have to do for example i will give you an example let's say you have purchased on 1st january 1000 quantity and the question is telling you you have to maintain a base stock of let's say 500 quantity so from that thousand which you have purchased on 1st january you will take out how much you will take out 500 quantity separately as a base stock yeah you will create a separate lot and that will be constant you will not touch that at the price which you purchase for example let's say 50 rupees yeah so 500 50 rupees you will keep it separate and constant it will remain till the end of the question till the end of the question okay so that's what you have to do basically now it will be very clear to you when we will take a practical example and solve it okay let's do that so you understood right a minimum quantity you have to maintain that's all yeah so see here it will always stay in the balance column at a fixed price the price will not change it will remain as it is that lot right that lot you will not touch it fine and it is usually created from first purchase or opening stock sometimes there will be opening stock from opening stock you have to maintain that yeah so let's go to a practical question and understand this properly. Now here we have a practical question of base stock. See how simple it is. Prepare the stores ledger using base stock method in conjunction with FIFO and LIFO. Assume base stock as 200 tons. So what do we have to do over here in this question? We have to prepare two stores ledger, one in conjunction with FIFO and another one in conjunction with LIFO. Okay. And then the question has said that we have to assume base stock as 200 tons. What does this mean? It means that in our warehouse at all time there should be minimum 200 tons 200 tons must be there at all times in our warehouse okay fine so now let's see how we're going to do this so see here we have the information regarding purchase and issues yeah how much we have got in warehouse and how much we have sent out of the warehouse so see here on 1st january we have purchased 500 tons at rupees 2 per ton so let's you know put that into the stores ledger Let's prepare the first stores ledger according to FIFO in conjunction with FIFO, okay, FIFO base stock, fine. So we are getting the first purchase on 1st January, that is 500 tons. So we will take it over here, 1st January 2021, 500 quantity at the price 2. So 500 into 2, that's 1000, yeah. So now what are we going to do with this? See, we know that we have to keep base stock of 200 tons. Minimum quantity should be there at all times in the warehouse. So what we are going to do is we are going to take that separately yeah, as a separate lot. Fine. So see 500 we have. This is the purchase, right? So from this purchase, we are going to keep this red ink 200 separate. See here, I have taken 200 out of that 200 rupees 2. Yeah, 200 into 2 that equal to 400. Yeah, so that's a separate lot. We are going to keep that as fixed and constant. Yes, fine red ink we are not going to touch that that will be there at all times in the warehouse and then of course there's 300 which is you know you can touch that so that's free you're going to write that also 300 to 300 into 2 that's 600 yeah 
So that 500, I have converted that into two lots. One is the base stock, which we cannot touch, and another one is the free one. Okay. And then next what happened? And then on 10 January, we got another purchase of 300 tons at rupees 2.10 per ton. So now whenever we get purchase, what do we do in FIFO? You remember? We draw a line, whatever that is there in balance column, these things, yeah, these two lots, take them below 200, 2400, 300, 2600, yeah? Take that exactly below. And then the new purchase below that. New purchase below that, yeah? First, you have to draw a line Whatever you have previously in balance column, just copy that down. And then the new purchase, take below that. Yeah, that's what we do. So 300, 2.10, 630, just take over there. Yeah, this is how you have to do FIFO, right? You all know this. And then what happened? And then on 15 January, we have issued 600 quantity. Yes, 600 tons. So now, how are we going to take that into the issues column? 15 January 2021. See here, here we have reach, right? So this is FIFO first in first out so we cannot touch the red ink yeah that's constant that's fixed we cannot touch that what's the next lot first next lot this one 300 yeah so touch that 300 to 600 we need 600 in total right the quantity is 600 so take 300 from here and 300 from here everything so 300 to 600 300 2 point 10 630 right so you have sent out all the free quantities fine so what's left the only thing that is left is the red quantity, the base stock 200 to 400. Yes, you understand? Simple, yeah? Yes. And then what happened next? On 20th January, purchase 400 tons at rupees 2.20 per ton. Again, we have a purchase on 20th January. So what we're going to do? Whatever we have in balance column 200 to 400, just copy that down. Yeah, first draw a line and then copy that down 200 to 400. And then the new purchase below that new purchase below that 400 2.20 880 isn't it do you want me to calculate see 400 into 2.20 that's equal to 880 right so just take that below and then on the next day what happened 27th january purchase 500 tons at rupees 2 point sorry 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 my bad on 25th january right yes we have issued 300 tons so 300 tons we have to issue what do we have in the balance column we have 200 red quantity which we cannot touch that's the base stock safety stock we cannot touch that but the free quantity is 400 2.20 880 we can touch that so we're gonna touch that right so 300 we're gonna send out from that okay from this 400 from this lot we are going to send out 300 2.20 so 300 into 2.20 660 fine okay then the red ink the same way you have to write we haven't touched that it's still there in the balance and then of this 400 we have sent out 300 so the remaining is 100 yeah so that 100 is over there 100 2.20 if you multiply that that's equal to 220 right and then on the next date that's 27th january we have purchased 500 tons at rupees 2.10 per ton so again we have a purchase so if we have a purchase what do we do we draw a line we draw a line whatever we have in balance column this redding and bluing 200 and 100 these quantities just take them below 200 to 400 100 2.20 220 yeah just take that below and then what are you going to do the new purchase take it exactly below that draw a line whatever you have in balance column take it below and then this 500 take below that 500 2.10 1050 clear yes and then on the last day see here 31st january we have issued 200 tons so what do we have in balance column till now we have 200 red ink 100 free quantity 500 also free quantity so what we can do we can touch this 100 quantity first because this is five four first in first out so send that 100 quantity out because in total we have to send 200 yeah so first send that 100 100 2.20 220 and then the remaining 100 will come out of this next lot 500 so 100 2.10 yeah and that's equal to 210 fine so red ink as it is and what is left this 100 is gone in this 500 we have sent out 100 so the remaining is 400 yes 500 minus 100 that's equal to 400 so 400 into 2.10 that's equal to 840 400 into 2.10 that's equal to 840 so 840 is the 
free quantity at last so the total closing stock we have is see here 400 this red here 400 plus 840 that's equal to 1240 yeah this is the closing stock we have 1240 fine so this is the way you have to do the base stock store ledger account yeah all you have to do is just keep that lot constant the base stock lot that 200 tons if they would have said 500 then what would i have done i would have taken 500 as red ink over here and i would have maintained that till the end fine this is the way you have to do it now let's see how we are going to do the lifo the lifo is also the same way you have to do just the order would be different fine now here we have lifo so let's understand how are we going to prepare the stores ledger account according to base stock method in conjunction with lifo so see it's really simple the first transaction happened on 1st january purchase 500 tons at rupees 2 so just take that in the receipt column 1st january 2021 500 to 1000 yes and then this lot has to be converted into two more lots one is the base stock one and another one is the free one yes because there's a requirement right base stock of 200 tons so that minimum quantity we have to maintain so that's why we create a separate constant lot which we will maintain till the end of the solution yes so this lot has been converted into two more lots 200 lot and 300 lot yeah so 200 to 400 300 into 2 400 is that clear yes and then the next date 10th january we have purchased 300 more tons that's add rupees 2.10 so in the receipt column again 300 2.10 630 fine but now whenever we have purchased what do we do in balance column we draw a line whatever we have in balance column just copy that below yeah 200 300 and then the new purchase exactly below that yes that's what we do so 300 2.10 630 you all know this yeah yes and then on 15 january we have issue of 600 tons now here there will be a difference because of lifo understand we have to issue 600 uh, tons right so how much do we have in the balance column we have red ink which we cannot touch these two are the free quantity yes 300 300 so this method is called as lifo isn't it lifo last in first out so you are going to touch the last lot first this 300 2.10 so take that out 300 2.10 630 we need to send 600 in total so the remaining will come out of the next latest lot that is 300 to 400 300 to 400 is that clear this is what you have to do in lifo that's all okay fine so we have sent out 600 tons in total out and then the balance we have right now after sending these two out these two lots out the remaining is 200 to 400 this is the balance yeah the base stock fine and then on the next day 20th january we have purchased 400 tons at rupees 2.20 per ton so take it in the receipt column and then draw a line whatever you have in the balance column previously just copy that down below and then take this new purchase exactly below that 400 2.20 880 you know this then what happened then we have issue of 300 tons on 25th january so 300 you have to send out only one free quantity you have you have only one free lot you have 400 2.20 880 so there is no fifo life over here you have to take it out from there only yes so just take it out uh 300 from there 400 minus 300 that's equal to 100 2.20 220 yeah is that clear we cannot touch that red ink yeah that will be exactly like that 200 to 400 we have sent out 300 the remaining is 100 so 100 2.20 220 is that clear yes and then next on 27th january we have purchased 500 tons at rupees 2.10 per ton so 27th january we have purchased 500 at 2.10 so that's equal to 1050 so what you have to do draw a line whatever you have in the balance column copy that down below and this new purchase exactly below that 500 2.10 1050 okay and then what do we have we have an issue of 200 tons we have an issue of 200 tons on 31st january so what are we going to do how much do we have in the balance column reading which we cannot touch we have 100 and 500 now here again lifo will come into work see here you cannot touch this 100 also why because this is lifo last in first out the last lot you will touch 500 lot so take out 200 quantity from this 500 yeah 200 2.10 yeah that's equal to 420 isn't it see here sorry let's turn it down 200 into 2.10 that's equal to 420 so 420 is the amount of the issue over here 
and then the balance is this red ink and then that 100 which we did not touch 100 2.20 220 and then from this 500 we have sent out 200 so the remaining is 300 300 and this 2.10 which is equal to 630 fine so the difference between FIFO and LIFO was only here isn't it see here here what did we do here in FIFO when we sent out 600 quantity we started with the first this 2 rupees then 2.10 but in LIFO it's not like that last price and then the next latest price that was rupees 2 yeah it's exactly opposite fine in FIFO at last also what did we have to do see at last at last first we had to touch this 100 quantity to send 200 out we first touch this first lot yeah and then this 500 isn't it 100 2.20 and then 100 2.10 100 2.10 yeah so that was a difference fine so what's the closing stock over here the closing stock can be different a little bit yes so it's 400 plus 220 plus 630 that's equal to how much 1250 and here it was 1240 yeah 400 plus 840 so 10 rupees difference is there that's fine okay of course there will be a difference fine so you understand this base stock it's so simple all you have to do is just maintain a minimum stock till the end okay that's all that's all i hope you get this yeah it's very simple fine so that's it for this video see you in the next video yeah bye